Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn how to add images to the order status labels. Okay, so if we have the orders, right, so you have the orders like ending this, we are going to add the images over it so that it looks catchy and looks elegant for like this is for pending, this is for processing, this is for cancelled orders. So this things we are going to manage using the images. So let's start the tutorial. So let's check some of the images of the pending. So let's uh, some of the icons we need to choose. So this icon want to be useful. So this icon would be open image in new tab. Let's again in the SVG. Don't require it. SVG we require. This is not also good. Let's select another one. This we can check. This size is more. open image in new tab so this is the image correct so i'm going to copy this image and uh, let's go and check with the pending so i'm going to inspect this element so the here background is this so i'm going to put the background image background image and you need to put the url Let's see where is pending. So this is the pending one. Let's make it uh, padding to be zero. Okay. So let's make it background uh, background position the center. Okay and make the width to be 30 pixels and height to be 30 pixels so it's not adjustable at that moment see the icons uh, is coming let's show some other icon which is small in size pending image icon 50 into 50 can use one of the icons let me open image in a new tab so we can use this one so this is and now we are going to the background position be like uh, 12 pixels or 12 pixels let's we are going to adjusting it which gonna be added so this icon I'm going to add it okay so let's add it like this And this gonna be like this. Make the height width increasing. Make it height width increasing. Let's make it this one. So this gonna be like increasing at the moment. 
it's going to be like this. And I think it's okay. This bending icon and make it the color color to be green and make it font weight font weight to be bold bolder and you should take the line center make it a little bit lower so it will, I will check the status that should be pending okay and here it is to be font size we can increase the font size also so font size gonna be like 30 pixels that is too much that is okay see In all the pending status it shows the pending correct now it's looking nicer we can also do the same process with the this one also so you can see it's look nicer so how i'm building it okay so if you haven't seen my video or the previous one i will again explain that one how we are going to do this stuff so um, let's make it one more so here we have etc we have module.xml which we already know view.x view file we have admin html we have layout ui component and the web In the layouts we have default.xml and sales order.xml default.xml we are using for just the CSS test.css correct and for sales order we have to add some of the columns so reference container should be content and UI component I am taking the sales order great right so reference container content and if I go to the UI component which I am using sales order grid.xml so here you can see I am adding status options okay and if i go to the web template ui grid cells demo.html so we have i have added a one one grid that is called data grid cell content with the binding it column order order status with the this one so dynamically it will add the class whether it is um, pending pre-processing or something so it will add a new div above the td below the td okay so here we have added the js file also so js grid columns select.js so here we have mentioned the orders to be pending processing and in this body template we are adding this one get admin orders with the respective of this if row status is closed then it is cancelled then we have returning the orders closed so according to it all the css are according to it so here orders pending if I'm going to check with my cancelled, if I'm going to inspect this one here, orders closed. Dev classes, orders closed. If I'm going to check this one, orders closed. If the closed or cancel status, it should be returning the orders closed, right? So here you can also do the same process that we have done with this one pending. Uh, let's have a look on that. Just copy it, the whole one. Just copy this whole one. Make, make it to the cancelled one so you can also add the same thing on the orders closed with this part the order cancel you can make the alignment accordingly so you can use this one cancel right now you will see that there is a cancel on the top you can use this one like this you can make sure check on this and uh, and you can see same thing we can add with the processing so that it looks nicer look so let's add the same concept over here okay, so i'm going to change it with the pixels okay so we have added this one and like this we can use Correct. So if you can, if you can see, the whole scenario is looking different. Processing has different one, different icons, and different as this one. So this is how we can achieve this uh, colorful 
way of the status maintenance in the Magento 2. If you uh, if you have any query in that, just please let me know. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.